What is up guys, it's Elite Warrior here, and I'm here to tell you guys about the map Origins on Black Ops 2. There's a lot of confusion on some stuff, and I'm here to tell you guys about general knowledge that you might not understand very well. This video is not over the staffs, I will be doing that separately, so look for that in a few days. But uh, I'm here to tell you guys about that, so here we go. The Generators, Mystery Box, and Wonder Fizz. Some general knowledge you guys should know about each of these things. There are six generators on the map. There's a mystery box location and a wonder fizz location at each of them. They don't spawn anywhere else. The generator will only power up stuff beside it, such as perks and the mystery box and the wonder fizz. The mystery box costs 950. Like I said, you need to have the generator powered up for the mystery box and wonder fizz to work. The wonder fizz is a new perk mystery box, as what I call it. It will give you a random perk for 1500, so that's actually relatively cheap for whatever perk you want. You obviously won't know what it is until you get it but that's cheaper than every perk besides Quick Revive, and Quick Revive costs 1500 so you get any perk you get out of that for a discount, so that's really good. I'm really happy they put that in. I don't know why they didn't before, but it's really good, and I recommend using it whenever you can. Generators. The first generator will be in the spawn up those stairs to the right. All the generators look the same. This is the first one because it has a 1. Um, it will cost 800 and some sort of zombies, some samurai looking zombies is what I would call them. Um, they're actually no harder than any other normal zombie you would fight. If you stand on the number pad on the ground, it will charge it faster. And there's two. So each generator is the same, they look the same, and they are activated the same way. Generator two will be out of the spawn to the right. All you have to do is follow the signs up to the generator by the tank station, and you're right there. Generator 3 will be straight out of the spawn. There will be a sign that says Generator 3. You follow it, you just go straight, and you go straight eventually. Turn right, turn left, and don't look at that. That's whatever. <laughs> you keep going to the right, right there, and you turn left, and it's up those stairs, and you follow as normal. Generator 4 is straight past Generator 3. Instead of going up the stairs to your left, you just keep going straight open that door, go up these stairs, turn left, you keep going straight, you can activate this rock like I did, I just did it, and then you go through this door, I believe it costs 1250 or 1500, you want to go atop this ramp, turn left, go up these stairs, go down these stairs, as you can see they're activating it, there will be a symbol on what number it is and where it is on the map, so if you're not sure it will show it, obviously this is generator 4, so you want to kill some zombies here, and again, you just want to do everything as normal as you would on any other generator. Generator 5 will be straight back from generator 4. If you're going toward generator 4, you just turn around and go straight to the other side of the map. You don't have to open any doors. Um, here you can see it because they got there before me. And you do everything as normal. Kill zombies, turn on 800 points, everything is normal for every generator. And lastly, generator 6. You want to open up this barrier. It's already opened. They'll have a sign beside it. If you went to your right, that would be going toward generator 5. Uh, you want to take a right over here. To the left is the tank. That is the tank right there if you don't know what it looks like. Um, you don't want to get downed. You do want to wait till you do get revived eventually. You want to go up top these stairs. The only way you can go is left and left again. You can drop down that hole right there. Uh, you want to take a right and then another left. And you're going to go forward and generator 6 will be right there. Just as all the other generators, you just want to kill the zombies and not die. The mystery box, it'll spawn, like I said, at any other generator spawn. Uh, the cool thing about it is that it just floats the lid. Nothing too special. Works just as normal. 950. Um, if you didn't hear it earlier, you have to have the generator on for you to be able to use it. So that's the only odd thing about it compared to all the other maps. So that's pretty much it. You just get it and uh, use it just as normal. Wonder Fizz it is the new perk mystery box. It works just as a mystery box would. It only costs 1500 and you'll get a random perk. Sadly, I got Electric Cherry, but just like a mystery box would, it'll move after a certain amount of times of using it, so you just have to look up in the sky for a light, and you will find it there. The Tank, Pack-A-Punch, and Challenges. Some general knowledge you guys need to know about these three things is that the tank is a defendable platform, just like it is in Transit. The Transit obviously has the bus. This map has the tank. The tank actually costs money to move. It will cost only 500 points, so it's not too bad. It'll stop halfway around the map, and it will need to recharge. The engine will overheat or whatever. So, very useful, very uh, quick way to get around the map, I would say. 
uh, the pack a punch. The only thing that you guys really need to know, other than you know, it's it's pretty normal standard. It just makes the guns look a little cooler. Is that the pack a punch needs to be charged by all six generators? You will not be able to use it until you do that. And there are challenges. The challenges vary from uh, you know, like headshots to um, activating all three boxes or all four boxes. Excuse me. Um, I'll show you guys some gameplay what the challenges are, but you'll get different things for completing each one. So this is the tank. Uh, like I said earlier, it costs 500 points, very cheap for what you need it for. Um, the cool thing about it is that it actually moves relatively fast. Like you, uh, you can catch up to it at certain spots. I think it moves slightly faster than normal, but. You can see it try to flamethrower. I think that's just right at the beginning. I never saw it do it again after that. So I think after you start it, it will do that. But um, zombies will move probably just about the same speed. So you will be able to actually shoot them. Unlike in transit, I'm just going to compare it to transit because that's the only other movable vehicle you will be able to actually get on. Um, in transit, the zombies, you know how they ran like extremely fast and unrealistic. Like they, they don't seem to be super unrealistic on the tank to go after. So it's... Uh, it's not as bad. I would say the tank is pretty good, to be honest. Like you get you get around the map pretty good. It's a quick way to do it. It's a very efficient way to get around the map if you're uh, looking at it. There are certain things you have to do on the tank if you uh, need staff parts. Again, I will have a video in all as much detail as I possibly can. So be on the lookout for that. <clears throat> but these are, this is where one of the staff parts is. Obviously, you can see it's purple. Purple one. This is just one of the staff parts. There are two others that you have to get along the way in the tank. Uh, like I said, I'll go into more detail on that, but <clears throat> see me pick it up here. Nothing too big. So, after I get this, I will show you where the tank will stop, and it will stop there every single time. It's the same. Every single time it stops. It'll go over that trench, and down that hill, and then to the left, and it'll stop um, right here. It's by the tank station, by generator 2. So, if you don't know where that is, you know, just follow the signs to generator 2 and you'll see a tank station sign. You'll get there. Um, so, you're here. It'll say tank engine cooling down. So, I believe you have to camp for maybe two minutes at the least. I think it's longer. So, don't hold my word for that. I'm not exactly sure. And also here you'll get a glimpse at the Maxis drone. What it is, is a dragon fire. It's a very useful item if you can build it. It destroys zombies. It is fantastic. It'll also pick up power-ups, so don't forget that. And uh, you'll see a glimpse of it here. Yeah, about in a second, so. Yeah, so the tank is very useful, and so is the max drone, so. So once the tank is done recharging, you will activate it again. Still 500 each time and it will go around the map to the right and pretty much it makes just a big circle around the map uh, just like transit did uh, but the tank is better in my opinion I like it a lot more than the bus the bus was really glitchy and laggy this seems to be a much more efficient way to do stuff um, you'll see me up ahead in a little bit jump off to the left that's where another staff part is like I said earlier I will cover that later in a future video that will come out probably in a few days so, I'll jump up here. I actually won't get it myself, but as you can see, I will go back for the tank, and the tank will go up a like little ledge that I won't be able to. So there are certain parts of the map you can only get to through the tank, but really the tank only just goes down that hill to the left back into the church. So make sure you're on the tank, and it is very good, and make sure you don't accidentally fall off because you will most likely not be able to get back to it. The backup punch. The pack a bunch is at the top of the excavation site. The only difference is on this one is that it has to be charged by all six generators. So if you have one uncharged, you will not be able to use it. It still costs 5,000, and what's really cool is it gives you this nice blue camo, but everything else is pretty much the same as any other pack a punch on any other map. It just needs to be charged by all six generators. Challenges. This is what the challenge board looks like. There are two locations. One is in the spawn, and one is by generator six. There are four total challenges you have to do. You get an achievement if you do all of them. The first one is to spend 30,000 points. You get some prizes or rewards after you get all or each individual challenge. The one for spending 30,000 points is you get a perk. The second one is 115 headshots. You get a pack-a-punch gun. The third one is to 
activate all six generators. What I'm assuming is you have to be near them, not actually activate it yourself, and you get a random power-up. The fourth and final one is to fill all the boxes, and you get a cool melee. You don't It's not actually a weapon, but you do get a melee. There are no bowie knives or goblin knuckles, so this is the only way to get a melee, is to fill all four boxes. So this is one of the four box locations. This one is located by generator four. It's noted that these boxes do not need to be filled up in any order, just like the generators do not need to be activated in any order. Um, so like I said, this one's beside generator 4. The goal of it is to just kill zombies beside it and fill it up with souls. Um, it is also noted that this box and all other boxes are in lanes where the giant robot can step, so make sure the robot is not coming, and you have to make sure he is not going into that lane because you will be stomped on and die. So just make sure of that. That's the only warning you really need to have. It's pretty simple other than that, so just make sure the robot's not coming. The second box location is underneath the excavation site. It's before generator 4. The same thing goes here. All you have to do is collect zombie souls and not get stepped on by the giant robot. The third box location is beside the church before you go into it. Same thing goes here. Just fill it up with souls and don't get stepped on. The fourth and final challenge box is beside generator 5. Once you get the fourth box, a big token should pop up above your perks. Once again, fill it up with souls. Do not get stepped on. Once you get the token, what you want to do is go to the spawn challenge box or the box at generator 6 and redeem it. So once you have all four tokens, you go to one of these boxes. I went to the one at the spawn. You just click X. You open it. It will give you a melee weapon. I wouldn't really call it a weapon. Make sure you don't have any zombies because I almost died here. You grab it. You equip it. And at first I had no clue what it did. Well, you will see it. It punches. It's like a ninja punch. It reminds me of the thunder gun shot. Um, it will kill zombies in a row. Um, if you see up here, I'll have somewhere around five zombies. It'll kill all of them with one punch. Um, right here it doesn't show it, but um, it will kill a lot of zombies in a row. Right there. See, it just killed every zombie. It is fantastic. It is round 18 and it's still one shot. So I'm curious to see actually how long it does go, but this is a fantastic melee weapon. Again, no no goblin knuckles, no bowie knife. This is the only melee weapon you can get, so make sure you get it. It's fantastic. So that's it for now, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching my video. I hope it was helpful and informative. I hope you really enjoyed it. I'll be doing a video on just the staffs in a few days. hope to have it out within a week, so be looking for that on my channel. Again, hope you enjoyed. hope it was informative, and thanks for watching. See you guys later.